Hello, friends. Winter is here, and we all know how crucial temperature is in defining the weather. After all, who doesn't want to know if it's sweater weather or blanket weather? Today, we're diving into an exciting topic perfect for all electronics enthusiasts and IoT developers. The DHT22 sensor is a versatile and highly accurate module for measuring temperature and humidity. Whether you're working on weather monitoring systems, home automation, or industrial applications, this sensor can play a key role in your projects. Let's explore its features, specifications, and see it in action through a practical project. Key features. Let's look at some key features of this sensor. High accuracy, temperature measurement accuracy of my 0.5 degrees and humidity accuracy of two to 5%. Wide range, temperature range from at 40 degrees to plus 80 degrees and humidity range from zero to 100%. Digital output uses a single wire communication protocol for data transmission. Power consumption operates efficiently with a 3.3 volts or five volts power supply. Compact size, easy to integrate into projects. Isn't it amazing? Technical specifications. Now let's dive into the technical specifications of this sensor. Supply voltage, 3.3 volts to 5.5 volt. Max current during measurement, 1.5 millip. Output, digital signal via single bus. Sampling period, two seconds minimum. Operating range, temperature minus 40 degrees to plus 80 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 0% 100%. Accuracy, temperature minus 0.5 degrees. Humidity, you know, two to 5%. Using it is so simple, and now I'll show you how with a project. Project overview. Let's build a simple project where we'll use the DHT22 sensor to display real-time temperature and humidity values on a 16 by two LCD display. Here's what we need. An ESP32, DHT22 sensor, 16 by two LCD display with I2C module, jumper wires, and most importantly, a little enthusiasm. Connections. First, let's connect our components. For the DHT22 sensor, connect VCC to ESP32's 3.3 volts, connect GND to ESP32's GND, connect the data pin to a digital pin on the ESP32, e.g. D4. For the 16x2 LCD display, connect the I2C modules VCC to ESP32's 3.3 volts, connect GND to ESP32's GND, connect SDA to ESP32's GPIO 21, connect SCL to ESP32's GPIO 22. Let's program our ESP32. To make our DHT22 sensor and LCD work together, we need to use a few libraries that make coding easier. For this project, you'll need the following. Adafruit DHT sensor library. This library helps us read temperature and humidity data from the DHT22 sensor. Liquid Crystal I2C library. This library simplifies controlling an LCD with an I2C interface. Make sure to install these libraries in your Arduino IDE before uploading the code. After that, here we define pins and initialize the sensor. The DHT22 sensor's data pin is connected to GPIO2 of the ES32. This specifies the type of DHT sensor used, which is DHT22. This creates a DHT object to interact with the sensor. In this line, we set the I2C address of the LCD, which is 0x27, and specify that the LCD has 16 columns and two rows. Now, in the setup function, First, we initialize the LCD and turn on the LCD backlight. Here, we are displaying initializing on the LCD during setup. Here, we initialize the DHT22 sensor. This gives a two second delay to complete the initialization process. Then here we are clearing the LCD screen to prepare for real time data display. Now, let's move to the loop function. Here's where the magic happens. In this line, we read the temperature from the DHT22 sensor and store it in the temp variable. And here we read the humidity and store it in this variable. This checks if the sensor failed to return valid readings, not a number. If there's an error, it displays error reading on the LCD. This line positions the cursor at the first row, first column. Then it displays temp, followed by the temperature value, temp in Celsius moves to the second row using LCD set cursor 01 and displays HUM followed by the humidity value HUM in percentage. The code waits for two seconds before updating the readings to match the DHT22 sensor's sampling rate. This code is simple yet effective for building weather monitoring systems or home automation projects. Now upload this code to the ESP32 board and let's see the project in action.
Friends, here is our final project. See how the temperature and humidity values are updating in real time on the LCD display. This project is simple, yet very useful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you get notifications for new projects. Let me know your feedback in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep innovating and keep creating.